What's up, nerds? This one actually needs a longer video, so let's open up the ghost. The all-new Micro Galaxy Squadron Ghost. A uh, very, very cool vehicle. It'll just have to do until my HasLab comes in. Uh, it comes with the figures uh, Zeb, comes with Kanan, comes with Sabine, and Hera. Uh, this is from Series 3. I picked it up at Target. Uh, price point on it was 60 bucks. Uh, it does have lights and sound, so I'm going to have to pop in some batteries. But uh, yeah, otherwise, it's just a very cool vehicle. Can't wait to dig in and uh, take you all with me for the ride. So yeah. Okay, let's open this beast up and see what's inside. The ghost out of the package looks pretty damn cool. I love all the detailing, all the color variations on it. Very nice. The weathering is pretty sweet on it, too. Very cool. You can see right here it has the hub that the uh, Phantom will park into once I'm able to track down the Phantom. It is available separately. It does take, according to the directions, three AAA batteries. So, um, yeah, we've got three AAA batteries I'll put in there. It does have these three landing gear right here that fold in. And it also has the entrance right here for the crew to climb into the ship. So, uh, looks like my, my bottom gun turret's a little bent. Probably going to have to heat that up so I don't break it. It's pretty, pretty rubbery, though. So, yeah, be careful of that. We've got the top turret that, does it spin? I know it opens up like so, so that's pretty cool. You can get the opening right there so you can put your Zeb figure in there. It should turn, yeah, it pivots. There we go. All right, cool. And there is also a button right here for the sound effects once I put the uh, once I put the batteries into it. Now, as far as the size of the ship, it is approximately 15 inches long from the uh, gun mount turret to the uh, engines right there. So you got 15 inches long by about 12 inches wide, and it is three and a half inches tall. So it's a pretty sizable ship, you know, nowhere near as big as the HasLab is going to be when it comes in. And trust me, you will get a review of that as well. So let's find out where the instructions tell us to put the battery. So according to the instructions, batteries go on the bottom of the ship. I'm going to need a screwdriver, I think, to do this. So, yep, I'm going to need a screwdriver. So there's our battery compartment right there. Go ahead and open it up. Let's see if I've got... I do not have the right screwdriver for it. Need to get a different screwdriver. Okay, handy dandy screwdriver in hand. Unscrew this. Let's put some batteries in the sucker. All right. You might want to keep a flathead handy as well so you can pop that off a little easier. Go ahead and pop the three AAA batteries in there. Like so. All right, let's close her back up and see what we are in store for. Okay, like so. Thrilling viewing pleasure, I'm sure. Okay, so it's got some sound effects. Ooh, lights up too. Engines, very cool. That's really cool because it's it's gyroscopic, so you can twist it. How very, very cool is that? Let's see, button one. Okay, so button one, which is, uh, which one's button one? Button one is this guy right here. Button one is the startup sound will play when the ghost is turned on. Cool. Uh, button one, you press to activate the firing lights and sound effects, top turret and top and front turrets. So that's cool. Uh, button two, you press button two to activate the cockpit lights, landing gear drop down, or airlock sounds. Very cool. 
And both of them, of course, give you lights in the engine right there and in the cockpit as well. That's so freaking cool. I mean, this is something that we are not getting with the Haslam. We are not getting lights and sound, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is whenever it comes to Star Wars Haslabs. That's why I got this thing. So let's see how we open this guy up. So I went over the gyroscopic motion. Very cool. That closes these lock into place like so. Very cool. All right, new cockpit with seating. So I think the cockpit opens up like this. There we go. Now we've got room in there. You've got Hera and Kanan's seat and uh, Sabine and Zeb. And of course, Ezra's gun turret down there. Very, very cool. Uh, what is this right here? There's a little spike right there. I don't know what that's for. Maybe I should look instead of just poking at it. Probably end up breaking it, knowing my luck. Uh, also, the top turret opens like so. Very, very cool. Not bad. Detailing on there is pretty nice. Let's see. That's cool. The light comes from down below. Neat. A couple of different colored lights. That's really cool. All right. I can just sit here and listen to this thing go for, for a long time, so I won't do that. Close that up. Now, how do we open up the go? Oh, there we go. Looks like I am not breaking it yet. There we go. All right. So the top portion just pops off like so. There you go. And then you can see the interior. Ah, oh, sweet. Each one has some. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to turn this thing off. No, no, that's not how to turn it off. Maybe it just times out after a while. So anyway, you've got uh, the bedrooms. So you can see some of the detailing in there with some of the decals. It's pretty cool. Let me see on this side. Oh, there's Sabine's room. I don't know if you can tell. Zoom in there real quick. You can see family portraits. You can see some of her other graffiti on the walls. It's very cool. This thing is just going off. Uh, also, you've got the Dejaric table right there. You've got some storage right there. Opens up into the bottom. You can see some of the storage down there. Very, very cool. So you can also, so this thing, yeah, it was 60 bucks. 60 bucks for this thing at, um, at Target. So that opens up like so. 60 bucks for the thing at Target, and you get just the vehicle. But... If you are patient and you order it through Amazon, then you get the deluxe version, which comes with uh, Y-Wings and the Phantom and whatnot. So that, that's pretty cool. But um, I'm pretty happy with this the way it is. That is very, very neat. I'm trying to figure out if there's anything else on here to talk about. Let's see. The spike is for Chopper. So anywhere, I guess, you see a little spike, you can put chopper on the spike right there to make them stay put. That's pretty cool, so it doesn't just roll around everywhere. Um, it's got all the little lounge chairs and computer terminal right there. It's very neat. Um, let me see. I think this pops out. Yeah, that pops out right there, and you flip it over like so, I believe. I'm making this up as I go. So you can, yes, so you can then attach the Y-Wing to the other end right there. So the Y-Wing's attached to the, to the Ghost itself. That is pretty awesome and a feature that is not being done on the HasLab Ghost. But that, I mean, that would be pretty massive if that happened. Because those y, old Y-Wing toys are actually pretty big too. So I don't know how I would display that. Let's see, is that going like, there we go. So that locks into place, and then you can dock your Y-Wings onto that. That's pretty cool. Uh, what else have we got here? We've got all sorts of just really cool grating down there. I don't think we can get into... Yeah, you can't actually get into the cargo hold. It's just too tiny. I mean, in order to get into the cargo hold, the thing would have to be a lot wider. But overall, it's very, very cool. Now that I got this sucker back together again, let's go ahead and check out the figures, shall we? So lower the landing gear out. There's, ah, there's your speaker right there. Right there. 
uh, land the gear down so we can go ahead and park it nicely like so and check it out we've got the figures Let's see if i can do this without dropping them all over the place so the phantom whenever i eventually get my hands on it actually comes with chopper and ezra so the other guys come with this so we've got let's do this one at a time got kanan right there doing this one at a time we've got kanan very cool. He's got his little ponytail. How awesome is that? Then we have Zeb. So Zeb looks really good. Actually, some pretty good paint apps on Zeb's face right there. That's pretty cool. Nice job for such a tiny little figurine. And then we've got, of course, Sabine with the helmet on. Nice. And no removable helmet on these guys. You lose it instantaneously. And, of course, Hera. Very cool. Nice. So there's your crew. So there you go. There's your flight crew right there. Pretty awesome. Go ahead and close that up. Bam. Just like maybe. Maybe it's just like that. But it's not closing. There we go. Just like that. Very cool. <laughs> All right, so that's it. The Micro Galaxy Squadron's Ghost. Very cool. I'll let you guys know when the uh, Phantom comes out. I haven't heard anything about the Phantom 2 just yet, but uh, hopefully we'll get that too because that's a really cool version of the, uh, of the shuttlecraft. So, all right, that's it. That's the Ghost. Thanks a lot, everybody. Tune in next time for another review. And as always, keep it nerdy.